guys, I'm Cresta in case anyone knows, and today I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about teen pregnancy. So when you are in the um, aisles in grocery stores and they have the magazines on the side, do you guys notice what is on the covers mostly? Um, usually it's like drama, stupid stuff like that, and obviously who's like pregnant. And it's also been in our school hallways a lot lately, especially if you're just out of high school. So as you can tell, pregnancy is everywhere. And it's a new pop culture friend, uh, frenzy. The birth rates actually have managed to go down still, but it still affects our community, the teen parents, and their kids. Um, it changes teenagers' lives educationally, financially, socially, and it affects their relationships. So from an article called Suddenly Teen Pregnancy is Cool, it states that media actually glamorizes it. And it's in television shows such as Teen Mom, 16 and Pregnant, and The, America, the Secret Life of the American Teenager. Like I mentioned in the beginning, it is in magazines, and it's also in movies such as Juno, Knocked Off, and it's uh, talked about in That's My Boy. So even though the pregnancy, um, even though it is glamorized by the media, the teen pregnancy rates have managed to go down. And stated by the Office of Adolescence, Adolescence Health, it was um, estimated that 75,000 teen girls in the U.S. find they are pregnant each year, making this the lowest in uh, American history. And um, in 2009, it was recorded that 410,000 births were occurring from kids 15 to 19 years old, making it 4% of the female teenage population. So from 1991, there was a 37% increase or decrease in pregnancy rates. But um, ethnicity is also a factor. There was a 50% decrease in blacks, 41% in whites, 33% in Hispanics. And even though we have the, uh, the highest, we're nine times higher than any other country, the U.S. has 61%, England has 60 Sweden has 31 and Canada has 28 So even though you see that the rates have gone down, it still affects us taxpayers. Um, each year, according to the adverse effects of teen pregnancy, it costs U.S. tax bill, uh, payers $11 billion, and that's because there's an increased risk in health care and foster care. So if the teen pregnancy rates weren't up, it'd be $6.7 billion uh, less. There's six billion dollars in lost tax revenue and three billion dollars in public expenditures. So it also affects us. Uh, it also affects us uh, taxpayers, but affects the teen parents and their kids financially and educationally. There's a high social and economic cost of teen pregnancy, which has short and long-term negative consequences. And that was stated from the Teen Pregnancy Prevention. Um, the parents themselves are more likely to not finish high school. So 50% received G uh, actually receive high school diplomas, 30% receive GEDs, and 10% actually go on and finish two to four years of colleges. And um, teen fathers actually have a 25 to 30% less chance of graduating high school. So there's a fact which no one knew. Um, the kids, when they go up and go to school, they will have less skills, lower school achievement, and they have a higher risk of dropping out, which makes a higher risk of giving them poor education. And the financial status of the parents is that they are more likely to be poor as adults, and the kids will be unemployed or underemployed. Um, I tried to find a video, but I couldn't. But I actually found an article in a magazine, and it's about some girl who faced her pregnancy in high school. And um, she actually did it as a senior high school project. And it was actually really interesting because it was about how um, like only a few people knew, like I think one teacher, her boyfriend and her mom, not even like the best friend knew about it. And it was she was pretty much telling about like what happened and what it was like and that a lot of her friends and like classmates treated her differently. So I thought it was really interesting. And then she revealed it when they presented their projects. Um okay. So did you guys know that majority of kids actually want to avoid pregnancy and that four out of five guys would be upset if they got their uh, partner pregnant? And that was a fact from the Office of Adolescent Health. So in the end, um, despite the fact that teen pregnancy has become a pop culture friend frenzy, the birth rate has gone down, you can see that it still affects our community, the teens themselves, and their kids. And like I said, it changes their lives educationally, socially, financially, and affects their relationships. So hopefully I can prove to you guys that teen pregnancy is not as glamorous as it was meant to be.